Three years ago, I made a video about an early alpha build of a game called Combustion by Frederick Strom. I was very impressed by what I played, and since then, I have closely followed the development of the game, eating up every little preview Frederick would post on his Discord. Well, today, 3D Realms released a live show called Realms Deep 2022, in which they showcased a metric fuckton of indie games and games they were publishing. They also had a Steam sale going on to celebrate it. And guess what game? got a brand new trailer that premiered on the show. I have watched this trailer multiple times at this point and I am awestruck at how awesome this game looks both in art style and in presentation. So we're gonna sit down and see what is new about the new Combustion trailer. To get you up to speed if this is your first time seeing the game, Combustion is somewhat of an action RPG set in a diesel punk version of 1997 where you play as a cop named Calico and your job in this game is to venture through the level and apprehend suspects or kill them. It's your choice. The game looks like it has a lot of storytelling and world building as you run around this city made out of an offshore oil rig. And so far, that's pretty much all we know. Now that you're caught up, let's check out that trailer. Man, that is a lot to take in, and it feeds you so much in such little time. So let's kind of break down what we just saw. First of all, will you take a look at this city? Look how beautiful this is, man. There's kind of a Blade Runner vibe going on, but it's a whole different color palette altogether. There's a whole lot of yellow here. It's a vibe that's familiar, but still different. I tell you what Frederick seems to be best at is setting a mood and telling a story through lighting. The light just all looks so good. And there's some world building for you. Even though this is considered the future, it's still 1997, so people still using payphones. I think I remember this guy from the demo. He's basically one of the basic enemies. And then he shows us this guy who's a fish with a harpoon gun. I wonder if he's going to be a boss or one of the heavier enemies. It's kind of hard to tell what's happening right here. I think it's Calico smoking a cigarette. You had the option of giving him a cigarette in the demo. Here we have Calico going into some kind of building that might be the police station, judging by the coat of arms. And he's got a riot shield on his back. Maybe that's something you can use to block attacks. It looks like we're definitely going to get some driving stages, and Calico is able to whip other drivers. This reminds me a lot of Road Rash. It looks like the HUD, the text boxes, and the radar have been completely overhauled from the demo version. Also, check out this fox in the sneaking suit. It shows a lot of instances of people protesting. So that must factor into the story. It must be something to do with the game's government. And this right here, this is another good example of how Frederick goes hog wild with the lighting. There's so much atmosphere here. For a low poly game that's supposed to have cruddy PS1 graphics, this game looks amazing. And here's Calico swinging the police baton. I'd be interested to know if he added any more moves to that thing. Like maybe there's combos you can do, moves to unlock. Even if there isn't, I'm sure he'll make it interesting. Here was something that caught my attention. It looks like you have a fire extinguisher or something. And there's the snowflake on the HUD. Maybe you have elemental powers. I remember telling Frederick you need to be able to jump in this game. But not only can you jump, but you can double jump. I love games with double jump. And the last thing we see is more motorcycle in this cool looking skull guy. And that's the end of the trailer. I see he's redesigned the logo and it looks really good. And that brings us to now. Guys, I have never been more excited to see a video game get completed. I'm so ready for this game to come out. I'm chewing my nails off. Not my fingernails. I have a bucket of steel nails that I chew on. Probably why my teeth are crooked. Anyway, anyway, if you want to see more of Combustion, you can go back and watch my 2019 video about it. And after you do that, go wishlisting on Steam. Do it! Or I'll punch you. That's all I got. Bye!